Hello and welcome to the Nerd Street Summer Champs recap for week 4. My name is Artie IRL and I'm going to walk you through what happened. During map 1, we had a finish in Overlook, holding out the edge of the world on World's Edge. As LG aggressed onto Renegade's God Spot, we saw Renegades come out on top and ended up finishing with a massive 28 point win to close out our first game on World's Edge. In the second game on World's Edge, the time and tested Southern Fragment End brought together all of the top squads into one large area with little to no cover. Luminosity decided against pushing Black Hand and instead rotated through the zone to get the drop on Optimal Ambition. Luminosity then took stance from their high ground to third party against AIL and Renegades to get the first place finish on map 2. Then, in our final play of World's Edge, it was a party. The zone finished in the western choke of Thermal Station, and we had Renegades and Luminosity Gaming after their previous wins trying to take the god spot early, but they got caught out and it was Redeem who came down from the heavens to eliminate every single squad who was trying to fight over the last remaining cover in the final circle. Moving on to the tropical island of Storm Point, we have absolutely nothing to say other than it was absolute chaos. As the final circle pulled to a nondescript spheroid building south of the mill, it was Black Hand inside of the cheese ball, the two remaining members of Lazarus, and mutuals only in a love triangle that ended up in a joust. Due to the insanely well-placed phase breach from G7 Dank of Lazarus, what started as a huge advantage for mutuals only turned into a 1v1v1 where the only cover remaining were the down shields of their fallen teammates, and Lazarus miraculously pulled off the W. Then, we come out to game 5 where all hell broke loose. Nightmare played Cliffside Depot alongside Luminosity and RCO. Luminosity was down to a single member of their team trying to rat it out to second, but unfortunately was cut short by Nightmare's incredible positioning. As RCO attempted to find solace in the building Nightmare called home, Nightmare lived up to their name and obliterated the remaining enemies. Finally, Game 6, our last stand on Storm Point, Renegades had the highest kill game of the night, playing completely off meta. With no Valk ult in sight, the squad of Seer, Gibraltar, and Ash walked their way into the final circle to take the high ground away from Nightmare and every other team that stood in their way. Ultimately, it was an incredible way to start off the adventures that will take place here in Season 13, and we're looking forward to seeing this same energy bleed through into the rest of the season.